Church. What is up everyone? Hello. Brand new video, testing out the new camera. Vegan Cheetah and myself will be sharing this camera. Hope you guys like the result. Holy shit, man. Can you stop with the jump cuts? You can't be fucking up that badly. No one has to do that many... Hey. What's going on? Hey, stop it. Stop it. Ooh. Huh? Hmm. So the title of this video, Why Do I Hate Men? Yeah, yeah, the title. Fuck off, bro. Look at your hair, and then look at your shirt. You obviously don't hate men as much as you'd let on. Am I right? Not to mention you're a feminist. I just hope this isn't one of those groundless propaganda videos composed solely of anecdotal evidence and inflated statistics. Good thing most feminists would never be that dishonest. Right, Drew? A friend of mine messaged me yesterday. She got fucking molested, groped, I'm assuming. Uh, I'm not gonna say who it is, because it doesn't matter. I don't know the full scale, the full details of what did happen. It makes me hate men, you know what I mean? Like. I don't know if it's the age we're living in, or it's just the negative effects of the pornography industry. I'm sorry to hear about your friend. That must have been very difficult for her. Sometimes porn stars have to do sick shit though, you know? Oh. She doesn't do porn? Sorry, I got confused because you tried establishing a correlation between pornography and sex crimes against women, but, uh... Uh... There's something... missing. Yeah, that. Thanks. Or maybe the guy's just a fucking weirdo creep. But what would give a man the fucking idea to sneak into a room? And this woman was asking this man for help lifting something or something like that. And whatever he did was uh, sexually charged. He grabbed her, groped her, I don't know where. Doesn't matter where. Just matters what the fuck he did. Okay, so he snuck in and groped her, or she asked him for help. Which is it? He is not capable of both sneaking into the room and being asked to come into the room. Wishy-washy stories like this are what make people doubt sexual assault claims. But let me get this straight. The assault was sexually charged, but you don't know where it happened, where she was touched. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how someone is touched. It isn't necessary to determine the extent of the contact to ultimately determine whether one is being molested or not. As long as a woman said it happened, then it happened. Right? Okay, just checking. Wanted to make sure we were on the same page. By the way, your statement doesn't hold a whole lot of weight unless you qualify it first. You know, give it some credibility. Otherwise, one would assume that you're just being an asshole trying to perpetuate rape culture and gender stereotypes. But you wouldn't be one of those guys, would you? Would you? And I think it's fucking shameful. I think a lot of guys, you know, they just feel like they're fucking entitled. First of all, we as men, like, there's a tendency we feel entitled to look, shit like that. And then, if you're really fucked up, you'll feel entitled to go and, like, fucking sexually harass her. Say something fucking sketchy, sexually charged, sketchy statements. And in some cases, like this woman that I'm talking about now, was fucking sexually touched. I can't argue with that logic. It does take a bad person to molest someone. I'm with you 100% on that. Remarks are subjective and kind of a gray area, but I'll even give you that one. But for fuck's sake, man, looking? I bet if you pulled your head out of the collective feminist asshole and watched the world around you, you would notice that women do it too, dildo nuts. And, um, you know, I can only imagine what that would feel like. I mean, I've had different various experiences. I've never been molested or anything like that. I don't, I can't say it's ever been really physically touched in an inappropriate manner or harassed, but, you know... There might have been some times, maybe at a show, at a gig or something. Yeah, there was like, maybe this one time where I was touched inappropriately at a show or something, and eight really big black guys, like, split me like a log, but I don't know. You know, I've been kind of, uh, inappropriately touched and approached by gay men. Wow, called that one from a mile away. And, you know, I kind of just rubbed it off and I recovered quickly. It wasn't anything too serious. So you, uh... <laughs> get touched inappropriately by gay men and, uh... <laughs> rub it off, do ya? <laughs> you, uh, recover quickly? <laughs> That's good. That's good. I'm glad to hear it. But I've never really had that kind of, uh, problem, you know, I've never been physically, you know, sexually harassed by a woman. Nice. More anecdotal evidence. 
Also, uh, that's because they don't take you seriously as a man. Well, I know that some women really enjoy their furniture. Oh. You, sir, are no coffee table. But I can only imagine what that would feel. Actually, if it puts your mind at ease, I don't think you would feel a whole lot of anything, because, oh. Oh, you meant how it would feel. You can only imagine how it would feel. Or maybe what it would feel like. Okay, never mind. And the title of this video, Why I Hate Men, I know it's not only, you know, women that get sexually harassed, it's men and women. But the truth is, I mean, the college scene, I think a lot of the, this fucking bullshit, a lot of women are raped at colleges. <sighs> I can already tell this is going to end badly. After football games, you know, this, the whole sports fucking, you know, environment. But the college environment's uh, one of the worst offenders. You know, the drinking, the partying, the fucking roofy sex drugs, getting women drunk and then raping them. This is a fairly common conception. People have made connections between rape and being drunk after college football games. Let me just go ahead and tell you, the connection is with rape reports and not confirmed rape. There is a significant difference. Additionally, you have to ask, if both parties are intoxicated, did rape actually occur? How do you figure out who is at fault? After I read a handful of readily available articles online related to this topic, I found that not a single one of them had any mention of the mental state of the suspects at the time. This is just a minor discrepancy, though. Of course, whether the man was drunk or not really doesn't matter. Every outlet of the media is currently being ball-gagged and tied up in the closet, so instead we just get to hear about rape culture. If I was that girl, I don't know exactly what she did yesterday in this situation, but I would've fucking groped him right back. <laughs> I bet you would've. And fucking punched the shit out of his fucking ball sack, man. With my tongue. That's what I would've done, you know? What also makes my heart sad is that this girl, her first reaction, what she said was, uh, it was kind of my fault, I was, I should have known better, I was kind of shocked. It's never any person's fault for being sexually harassed, it's the fucking person's fault that did the sexual harassing. I agree, victims of sex crimes should not blame themselves, no one is advocating to be raped. That being said, I've been meaning to ask you something. Dude, are you fucking tweaking on something? Between the jump cuts and your constant metronoming, you're making me fucking paranoid. Sit the fuck down. In this day and age, with a big negative contribution from the pornography industry, women are, they feel like statements like that, like, oh, it was my fault. Like, they second guess their fucking victimization. Like, they think for a second that somehow they deserved it or they were fucking inviting that kind of harassment or something, which is complete bullshit. This is the second time you've mentioned the negative impact of the porn industry on women, and you still fail to give any citation. Not to mention you're trying to pass off anecdotal evidence as demonstrable fact by validating it with speculation. Sounds pretty dumb when you put it that way, right? That's because it is. At risk of sounding like a broken record, make a claim, then use factual evidence to support that claim. We all know it's a bullshit. You know it's bullshit. I know it's bullshit. You're right. You guys gotta learn to fucking keep your fucking dick soft. Keep your fucking boners in your pants and keep your hands to yourselves. I half expected you to throw the words veiny or throbbing in there, but I'm glad you didn't. If anyone does fucking ever do anything inappropriately sexual, whether it's verbal or physical, even just fucking whistling anything, you know, a creepy stare, whatever the case may be, please do reach out to somebody, an authority figure, or just fucking reach out to them. Make sure you listen to this guy, he's spot on. If a man whistles in your vicinity, looks at you, breathes your air, accidentally bumps into you on a bus, be the nastiest fucking twat you can possibly be, because you know what? Better safe than sorry. Don't just stop there, though. Rip into him if he compliments your appearance that you probably worked feverishly to produce, be a completely humorless bitch if he makes some kind of nasty joke that isn't politically correct, and then try to get him put in jail. Don't half-ass this shit. Remember, there's no such thing as accidents or misunderstandings. Everyone is out to get you or rape you. If they're not like some, if it's like some six foot tall motherfucker that's gonna like pin you down and rape you, I wouldn't suggest lashing out at him. But if it's somebody, you know what I mean, go fucking spit in their face, do something. You want to avoid physical danger, so don't ever like approach a psychopath or someone that you know is gonna try to physically harm you. But make sure that you judge a book by its cover and spit in a complete stranger's face as long as they don't look like a serial rapist. This guy's got some great fucking advice. I'd hazard a guess that if you really wanted the feminist movement wiped out, all you'd have to do is put this guy in charge of self-defense training. So it's just shit like that that makes me hate men. You know what I mean? I don't really hate men. Yeah, we already knew that. 
And I'm a good man. There's a lot of great men on here, a lot of great men on YouTube. Alright, I'm cutting him off now. Uh, let's go over the takeaway from this video. Feminists that may be watching this, listen to Andrew. Make sure you spit in random dudes' faces, especially when they tower over you but look harmless. Everyone else, I don't really need to tell you, just remember that men are soulless beasts that spontaneously rape without a moment's notice. Anyway, the biggest glaring problem I found in this video was nothing that he said, but rather this. This person claims that Andrew is one in a million, but this is statistically inaccurate. That would mean that only one ten thousandth of a percent of men are like Andrew, but according to an article on The Guardian, the number is one in ten that identify as homosexual. Claim refuted, bitch! <clears throat> that being said, Andrew had this to say in closing. You know, I would sneak into a room, sexually touch soft dicks. You know, I would kind of just rub boners. I would fucking grope and right in your pants. Please don't.